Nowhere else can wild creatures be seen in such great variety in natural surroundings as in South Africa's Kruger National Park. The Kruger National Park, larger than the state of New Jersey, lies in the northeastern corner of the Transvaal. The Crocodile River is the southern boundary, and the Great Limpopo River flows near the northern end. Portuguese Mozambique lies between Kruger and the Indian Ocean. Because the park is primarily for the protection of the wild creatures, all persons entering the gates must register and sign an agreement to respect the regulations. The important requirements are that visitors must remain in their cars while on the roads and stay within the rest camp enclosures at night. Kruger National Park offers the naturalist unlimited opportunities to study and photograph a great variety of animals and birds under conditions not to be found anywhere else on Earth. Twelve hundred miles of roads make it possible for motorists to observe the various animals from their cars. En route from Numbi Gate to Pretoria Scott Rest Camp, the motorist is sure to meet a welcoming committee from the animal kingdom. Pretoria Scott was the first rest camp in Kruger Park established around the original game ranger's post because of the healthful altitude, good water, and a grove of wild fig trees. It's open to the traveler throughout the entire year. This is outdoor life without discomforts, where visitors can rent a family cottage or rondeval furnished with beds, stoves, running water, and electric lights. Just outside the camp, vervet monkeys scamper through the foliage and are numerous in the trees that border the rivers. These monkeys are fairly tame and can be approached closely enough for good pictures. Baboons are plentiful, and every visitor is certain to see them either scampering over the ground in search of the roots and insects on which they feed, or perched in trees. The baboon is a most intelligent and courageous animal, and a huge male is a powerful adversary even against the leopard. The aristocrat of the bushveld, the dignified and graceful giraffe, would be extinct in South Africa, except for the security offered by Kruger Park. Today, there are more than a thousand of these imposing animals within this sanctuary. At the famous hippo pool on the Sabi River, a family of these huge animals lies partly submerged in the cool water, while others sun themselves on the opposite bank. Groups of hippopotami live in all the larger rivers in Kruger, and can always be found and photographed. Members of the warthog family are abundant throughout the park. When frightened, they trot away with their tails sticking straight up, a scene that always amuses the onlooker. Skakuza Rest Camp is situated on the banks of the Sabi River. It's the largest camp, and the administrative headquarters of Kruger National Park. Skakuza has a restaurant, store, post office, telegraph and telephone service. The larger building which houses the restaurant and shops blends perfectly into the Bushveld setting. Safari cars from Johannesburg, Pretoria, and the railhead at Nailsbrut arrive every day with visitors from all over the world. The Bushveld around Skakuza is a favorite haunt of the graceful impala, and these animals often visit the camp. They pay little attention to the human intruders within their domain, except to stay at a discreet distance. Among the small and interesting reptiles found in the park is this harmless insect-eating lizard, which has the ability to change its color. Kruger National Park is also a bird sanctuary. The ostrich is the largest of the more than 300 known species of birds that live within its boundaries. The hammerhead is one of nature's curiosities, and because of its whistling cry and unusual habits, is held in superstitious awe by the natives. Guinea fowl are widely distributed throughout Africa and are particularly abundant in the bushveld. 
where flocks numbering many hundreds are often found. Guinea fowl are excellent human food because they live on insects, seeds, and grain. The colorful saddle-billed stork is found in the park along the larger rivers during its nesting season in June. This stork is often confused with herons and cranes, but belongs to a separate family. The secretary bird was so named because of the long feathers projecting from the back of its head. This feathered warrior is noted as a destroyer of snakes and will attack and kill any snake the instant it finds one. The hornbill family is well represented in Kruger, and the raucous call of these birds is one of the familiar sounds of the wild. The yellow-billed hornbill prefers the bush felt, feeding on fruits, berries, and insects. Vultures have keen eyesight and locate dead animals by soaring at great heights, floating to earth when a discovery is made. These birds have powerful bills, especially suited to tearing the skin and flesh from a carcass. There are several species of vultures in the park, competing with the jackals and other scavengers for the meat of dead animals. From Skakuza, roads lead in all directions, each one a highway to adventure. One road crosses the Sabi River on a concrete causeway which offers a safe passage for visitors into the deeper recesses of the animal kingdom. A variety and abundance of wildlife is everywhere, and soon the car is stopped so motion pictures can be made of elephants. These giant animals are one of the attractions of Kruger Park. Farther along the road which runs northward to Satara, Litaba, Chingwedzi, and Pandamaria, Dildebis, and herds of zebra offer more opportunities for photography. The baby zebra is particularly photogenic and seems to know it. And this young wildebeest was not quite as homely as its parents. At another turn in the road, the station wagon is parked to watch two curious lions who are investigating a car full of people. From the grass alongside the road, more lions look at the car with mild curiosity. Lions are probably the main attraction in Kruger and always can be found in certain areas. The eland is the largest of the antelope family. Although very shy and constantly on the move, eland often are seen near Shingwedzi. The roan is the second largest of the antelope family and one of the rare animals of Africa. It prefers the bush country near Litaba and Ponda Maria. Most magnificent of all the African antelopes is the sable. This courageous animal will stand up and fight anything, including the lion. The sable is found in several parts of Kruger, especially north of the Oliphants River. A kudu bull, with its spiraled horns and stately carriage, is a rival for first honors as the noblest of the antelope species. Kudu prefer park-like country and are quite plentiful around Sapara. With far-sighted vision while president of the Boer Republic, Paul Kruger set aside this reserve for the preservation of wildlife. Today, this park is world-renowned, a sanctuary for wild creatures and a restful haven for men and women who find relaxation in this primitive area of timeless Africa.